In recent years, Vietnam and Ireland have cooperated in key areas such as investment, trade, agriculture, and education. Although two countries have established the diplomatic relations since 1996, the friendship and multilateral cooperation between the two countries have experienced positive progress. Vietnam is one of the nine priority countries receiving ODA of Ireland. The two sides signed a cooperation agreement with ODA budget of more than 120 million US dollars, focusing on poverty reduction and health care. From the status of a low-income country, Ireland has made outstanding policy to gain such an intensive economic growth worldwide. Today, Ireland becomes one of the most developed countries in Europe and a role model for developing countries. Through economic cooperation with Ireland, Vietnam will gain experience in developing economy, attracting foreign direct investment and developing the banking system while enhancing human resource training and high quality, especially when Vietnam is entering a new development stage. Hello and welcome to Sharing Vietnam on VTC Tenabit Awanyet. 2016 is an important year which marks the 20th anniversary of diplomatic relations between Vietnam and Ireland. There will be a lot of interesting and significant events to be held on this occasion. In our program today, we have a talk to Mrs. Coy Moran, the Irish ambassador to Vietnam, and she will share more about the achievements and prospects for the Vietnam and Ireland bilateral relations. Thank you, Mrs. Coy Moran, for joining our program today. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. First of all, having been living in Vietnam for a period of time, what is your impression towards the Vietnam development recently? Well, first of all, um, I have been in the country for six months. I took up my position as ambassador in September 2015, and I presented cre credentials to the president of Vietnam in November. So it's a relatively short space of time since I've been here. But I've been very lucky in that I've had the advice and the expertise of my predecessors who've explained to me a little bit about Vietnam's trajectory towards development. And Ireland has had an embassy in Hanoi for the last 10 years. And I think during that time, we've seen a massive change in terms of Vietnam's development, huge progress. And I think that's very much measured by Vietnam attaining the Millennium Development Goals. Um, and we can really see that comparatively, Vietnam has done very, very well in terms of its social development and the economic attainments that it has made. Right. So can you share some of the activities of the Irish Embassy in Vietnam to celebrate the 20th anniversary of diplomatic relations between Vietnam and Ireland? Yes, well, so as you said, we're celebrating 20 years of diplomatic relations between Ireland and Vietnam. And we want to make that a very meaningful celebration. So it's a celebration, but we also want to see progress in deepening both our political cooperation, our economic partnerships, and our development cooperation and cultural partnerships. So we're putting together a fairly exciting program of events um, with together in partnership with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Vietnam and the Foreign Ministry in Ireland. And so we will kick off our program of events at that National Day celebration on St. Patrick's Day. Um, we're kicking off with a very uh, strong social media campaign called hashtag Go Green for St. Patrick's Day. And so throughout the year, we'll have a number of different uh, both cultural events, educational events, and also uh, some sporting events because we have a very active Irish community here in Hanoi and in Saigon also. Okay, so during the last several years, what are the significant achievements that two countries have gained? First of all, I suppose the political relationship. So we've had 20 years of diplomatic relations. But even before that, even before we had established diplomatic relations, I think there was a very uh, strong acknowledgement of the shared history between Vietnam and Ireland. In terms of the economic and cultural relationship, I think we've made great progress in terms of trade, over the last 20 years, but particularly um, in accelerating trade, particularly since 2008. We've seen trade grow about five by five times uh, during that period. 
Now trade is still reasonably small, but I think it's a huge achievement mm -hmm. to have grown trade so quickly between the two countries. The reason that our embassy was opened in Hanoi just over 10 years ago was to provide development cooperation support to the people of Vietnam to assist Vietnam in its development. And I think that has, mar that has been a very significant period of cooperation over the last 10 years. Since the MOU of Education and Training between Vietnam and Ireland in 2011, two countries have carried out a lot of outstanding education and training programs. So can you share more about this? Sure. The um, MOU, I suppose, set the framework, an MOU on, on education between Vietnam and Ireland, set the framework for further collaboration. Under the Irish Aid Programme, we launched a scholarship programme under that programme, and that has provided scholarships for over 160 Vietnamese students to go to Ireland and to study at an advanced level, at postgraduate level, um, either MBA, uh, MBA programmes or Masters of Financial Management or Masters of Science programmes. And that has been a very significant um, achievement in that education space. After the Memorandum of Understanding on Agriculture and Rural Development between Vietnam's Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development and the island's Ministry of Culture, the two countries have exchanged experience in transiting from an agriculture-intensive country to a modern industrial one. With greater added value in agriculture production by applying science and technology, especially the preservation and processing technologies. In addition, the Irish government committed to disburse 13.29 million euros for the 135 program in Vietnam and support Vietnamese government to improve the living conditions for ethnic minorities in the period 2013-2015. But as well as that, we um, have enjoyed a very strong partnership with SEMA, the Committee for Ethnic Minority Affairs, and their role is uh, to um, ensure that the uh, poverty reduction programs for the government's uh, national poverty reduction strategy are uh, appropriate to the lives and the conditions of the ethnic minority people. So we have found that working with uh, SEMA very closely and by visiting those uh, rural areas and communities together, we've been able to make some improvements to the government's own policies and to the programmes that they have designed to address the issues in those places. Trade exchange between Vietnam and Ireland has increased steadily with the trade balance reach 183.8 million euros in 2013. In addition, the Vietnam Island Business Forum is one of the cooperation projects which is recently implemented in order to enhance the business environment and the development of private sector in Vietnam. In the beginning, Vietnam and Ireland will focus on the fields of information technology and software. Ireland đều có những có thể chia sẻ được cho mình rất nhiều uh, kinh nghiệm. Uh, ví dụ như là về thu hút đầu tư nước ngoài, làm sao mà uh, có thể thu hút vào những cái, cái ngành mà uh, một đất nước cần hoặc là về giáo dục đào tạo và thực sự là các cán bộ của chúng tôi trong quá trình đi học tập, đi thực tập tại Ireland thì cũng đã thu được những kết quả khá là tốt và tôi cho rằng một cái kinh nghiệm mà triển khai các cái dự án hợp tác mà phía Ireland đã triển khai trong cái chương trình IDS này đấy là cái tính linh hoạt trong cái thiết kế chương trình với cái cái cái, cái tính linh hoạt rất cao và không bị cứng nhắc thì cái kết quả hợp tác sẽ mang lại cho những cái đối tác những cái đơn vị thụ hưởng nó sẽ sát với những cái yêu cầu. The positive development of multilateral cooperation between Vietnam and Ireland in recent years have showed that Ireland has always respected the position and the role of Vietnam in the region as well as the world. Based on these achievements, the two countries will continue to strengthen cooperation and open new prospects in the future.
right. So what are the policies of Ireland in supporting the business and investment cooperation between the two countries which connects the businesses in Vietnam and Ireland in recent years? To have good trade and good investment between two countries, you need to have the right, um, the right environment and the right context. So firstly, we have uh, developed very strong political relationships between Vietnam and Ireland so that we can put the appropriate agreements in place. The other a very strong area that we have worked on is in the aviation field uh, and uh, to promote um, collaboration on aviation issues. I think it's also really important um, that the two countries support businesses directly. Um, and for Ireland, we're very pleased to see that there is an Irish business association uh, based in Vietnam, based in Ho Chi Minh City. And that's a great resource supported by the embassy to try and provide information for Irish businesses who are keen to come and invest and do business with Vietnamese businesses. So apart from the main areas, what are the other potential ones which Ireland and Vietnam can discuss and promote further to put into the cooperation in the future? I think perhaps some new areas would be in the, in the sphere of aviation. We would like to see more co cooperation in terms of aviation services. At the moment, there's quite a lot of cooperation in terms of aviation leasing and aviation financing, uh, but there are also areas in terms of training and capacity building that we feel have great potential. And probably in terms of some of the new sectors where there's potential is in relation to ICT. Ireland has a very, very strong um, uh, both native and multinational ICT sector. Uh, very highly developed, very innovative, and that's an area I think that, that, uh, that could be of interest for Vietnam. Starting as the agricultural intensive country like Vietnam, Ireland have a lot of great experiences in developing and become a highly developed country in Europe. So can you share some of the experience lessons of development for Vietnam from Ireland? The, the way that we have done that in the agriculture sphere is in terms of investing both in people and in technology, valuing the kind of farming that we have, which is small scale, sustainable farming, and looking at the systems that can support that. Um, but what we do do is we add a lot of value in Ireland to that agricultural produce that creates jobs locally uh, and it adds value to local communities and I think those are areas where we could certainly uh, share experience with, with Vietnam. The other area that we have invested in a lot is education. Um, so uh, a sec any sector will not work unless you have a fully qualified, skilled and educated workforce and that's an area that Ireland has invested in heavily. With all of the of our significant achievements, what is your expectation toward the prospect of bilateral relations between Vietnam and Ireland in 2016? Well, as, as we said, 2016 is a big year because we're celebrating our, our 20th anniversary of, of diplomatic relations with Vietnam. And I think it's an important time to both mark progress and see where we also want to go next. So what I would like to see for 2016 is that, first of all, we celebrate our great partnership together, and then that we also define new areas where we can cooperate together by deepening our cooperation in agriculture, education, and aviation, and by adding on some new areas uh, where we can cooperate together. And I'm, we're looking forward to having some discussions with the Ministry of Planning and Investment on how best Ireland can support Vietnam uh, in the year ahead from 2017 to 2020 through our development cooperation program and we hope that we will have agreement on that during the course of 2016. Thank you Mrs. Court Moran for joining our program today. And that is also the end of our program Sharing Vietnam. For comments and feedbacks please send it to sharingvietnam at netvietv.net. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again tomorrow.